Proposition 19, whether you are buying, selling, or just curious about your property tax situation, this information could have a significant impact for you. So Prop 19 was passed in November of 2020. It brought some key changes to property tax laws in the state of California. It's designed to help certain groups of homeowners. One, those who are over 55. Two, people with disabilities. And three, victims of natural disasters move to a new home without facing a huge property tax increase. So one of the main benefits of Prop 19 is the ability to transfer your existing property tax basis to a new home anywhere in California. This can be done up to three times for the homeowners age 55 and older or those with the severe disabilities. But for victims of wildfires or other natural disasters, there is actually no limit to the number of times you can transfer your tax base. Now, being able to transfer your low property tax rate can be a big deal. So normally when you purchase a home, it triggers a step up in basis and you pay a property tax percentage that's based off of a number that is essentially close to the purchase price that you paid. Now in California, we also have Proposition 13, which says that while you own your home, your property tax cannot increase by more than 2% every year. So for people that have owned their home for a substantial amount of time, they'll have a much lower property tax than normal. This gives them less incentive to want to sell. So now with Prop 19, you if you fall into one of those groups that I mentioned, uh, if you decide that you want to downsize or move closer to the family, right, you can take that low tax rate with you, even if the new home is more expensive, which is typically the case. So Prop 19 also brought changes to how inherited properties are taxed. So previously, children could inherit their parents' property and maintain the same property tax rate, even if it was used as a rental, investment, or vacation home. But now the inherited property must be the primary residence of the child. And there's also a limit on the value of the property that can be excluded from reassessment. So if the market value of the inherited home exceeds the parent's tax base plus $1 million, the property is still going to be partially reassessed, which could increase your property taxes. So what should you do if you're thinking about moving or inheriting a property? First, it's important to consult with a tax professional. I can refer you um, or a real estate expert to understand how Prop 19 specifically affects your individual situation. There are deadlines and paperwork involved in transferring your tax basis, so timely action is crucial.